Now there is something oh so frustrating about brake levers not being level or in line with one another. It simply plays on your mind. Now making sure that your brake levers are both in line with each other is very important. Why? Well, a lot of the time we ride along and we're wondering, are they actually even with one another? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to measure them so they are perfectly in line with each other. So why do we actually need to make sure that they're level and in line? Well, it helps prevent injury, imbalance, poor stability, as well as even giving you better steering. It only takes a few minutes to check and adjust, so why not just do that? Now even the legendary Eddie Merckx was a nightmare for fettling around with his position. He used to pester his mechanics constantly for a tape measure and a tool. Even during the neutralized sections of a race, he'd pull over, grab a spanner, and fiddle around thinking that things weren't in line. Tell you what, Eddie, if you're watching, this video is for you and the rest of the viewers. So how can we do this without lasers and fancy equipment? Let's start by leveling the levers first. There's the classic one of one eye open, one eye closed, and checking to make sure it's level. That's one that most of us probably do. Now even better than the one eye open and one eye closed technique is this, the mighty spirit level. You can get them in most hardware stores if you don't already have one. Alternatively, knock on your neighbor's door, they may have one. So firstly, you're gonna to have to make sure that your bike is perfectly upright, not in any slants or slopes. You can even use the spirit level to check that. Uh, in my case, I'm really lucky. I've got a very, very heavy work stand. This bike is not gonna move or go anywhere. Once you've got it, you're gonna to have to put it across the lever hoods in exactly the same place on both sides. I'm really lucky. I've got some ridges on these hoods so I can count them so I know that it is in exactly the same place. Then it's simply a case of looking where the spirit level bubble is and then adjusting one lever to match the other. What's gonna happen though, is when you actually finally do up the, the final torque of the lever, that lever is gonna possibly move up slightly. So you're gonna to have to bear that in mind. It might take a few attempts, but it's more than worth it. Now, if you don't have a spirit level or if you're unsure if your bike is perfectly level and you're having a bit of a nightmare with that, get one of these, a tape measure. A flexible one like this is easier to use than a standard steel one because they don't quite bend or curve as much as this. This is perfect for the job. What you're gonna to wanna to do, hold it underneath the brake lever hood, get it right in there, and then it's simply a case of pressing it down onto the bar tape and measuring to the end of the handlebar. Then you get that measurement and you repeat it on the other side, so on the other, on the other brake lever, just to make sure that it's in the same place. Again, when you tighten up the lever, it may well raise a little bit, so be prepared just to do it a couple of times and you're sorted. Then your levers are level. Now making sure that your levers are in line with one another is very important too. Why? Well, to prevent any neck injuries, back injuries, shoulder injuries, as well as improving the handling of the bike. So what you need to do is find a marking on the top of both lever hoods that are identical. So in exactly the same place, and then take your tape measure or ruler, it needs to be accurate though, and measure from that marking to either the center of the stem or one of the stem bolts, and then repeat that procedure on the other side. Then it's simply a case of adjusting the lever, which you feel is not pointing directly straight or in the direction that you're most comfortable with. Again, just like when we talked up the, the levers to make them level, they may well move a little bit. So it might take a couple of attempts just to make sure that those measurements are identical, but it's more than worth it in the long run. Now let me know in the comments down below how you measure your setup or if you've ever had a steering or injury disaster because of misalignment. I'd be very keen to read that, as would Eddie Merckx, the king of tinkering himself. Now do remember to like and share this video with your friends and to subscribe to the Global Cycling Network, click on the globe on the screen right now. And for two more great videos, how about down here for why do pro cyclists slam their stems and down here for slammed versus non-slammed. That's a cracker.